Hey, what's going on? My name is Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media. On this episode of Outside the Softbox, we're going to take a look at the tethering capabilities on the Panasonic Lumix G9. As a portrait photographer, tethering is a huge part of my workflow, especially when shooting in studio. The fact that the G9 has the ability to tether makes this amazing camera even better. Since this is a newer feature with the Lumix system, programs like Lightroom and Capture One Pro don't actually natively support tethering with Lumix cameras. To work around this problem, Panasonic put out a program specifically designed for tethering with Lumix cameras, appropriately named Lumix Tether. I'll put a link to download that below. Once you connect a tether cable from your camera to your computer, the Lumix Tether program will give you full functionality of the camera and a live view function if you want it. Lumix Tether allows you to set a designated reference folder so your images will automatically show up in your program of choice. In my case, I use Capture One Pro, so all I had to do was go into the settings section of the Lumix Tether app and set my reference folder as the capture folder in my Capture One session. Once I did that, all my RAW files displayed automatically inside of Capture One for me to edit later. If you're using Lightroom, just make sure auto import is enabled and then set your reference folder to the Lightroom watch folder. I could go on for hours about how important tethering is, but I really just wanted to show you how I incorporate tethering with the G9 into my everyday workflow. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow Ready Light Media. And remember, don't be afraid to think outside the softbox.